Hi YouTubers, AC Dodd here again. Uh, I just thought I'd share you this little video uh, regarding crankshafts. Um, it's uh, quite usual in the UK actually, if you get a crankshaft uh, and have it reground, the sizes are not always what you would expect. So um, the purpose of this little video is to uh, just show you uh, what you need to do to a crankshaft once you've had it ground before you fit it, um, just to uh, make sure it's actually okay. This is a crankshaft that uh, I've had ground for Dorchester Mini Centre. Uh, this is basically an 850 uh, crankshaft um, out of a classic Mini. Uh, and there's nothing special, it's just a straight regrind 10 thou, uh, 10 thou undersize on both mains and the big ends. So, the most important thing here is the sizes of those journals after grinding. A lot of companies seem to um miss the sizes or under grind it or grind it oval or tapered etc etc so the most important thing you need to do um, before you fit this is to actually verify the sizes um to determine if your oil clearance is actually going to be where it needs to be because at the end of the day the whole point of regrinding the crankshaft and uh, and fitting it with new bearings is to restore the oil clearance and precious few people in the uk at least seem to bother to check their oil clearance um so part of that is obviously to work out what size diameter the journals are so that you can determine the oil clearance by subtracting that size from the diameter or the inside diameter of the bearing it fits in. So to determine the sizes, what we need to do is to use a micrometer. So here's my micrometer. Um, the most important thing about micrometers is they need to be checked to make sure they zero correctly and they're actually reading properly. So uh, just picking a micrometer up that's been laying around uh, does not make it accurate. Also, the other thing about micrometers is you need to be able to use them. It's a skill and it's not something you can pick up in five minutes. You need to practice to be able to measure them. So my point here is if you don't know what you're doing or you aren't able to get consistent measurements, then please uh, find someone that can measure it for you. Ideally, not the person who ground the crankshaft, so someone independent. So take your micrometer and open it up to the nominal size. Now, this being an 850 crank, the nominal size is 1.6254 uh, on the big ends to 1.6259, uh, uh, okay? Now, if we open this up, this is 10 thou under size. So it's gonna be 1.616 is the size I like to aim for. And if we measure that and come down and look at that, if you can see that, you will see that 616. Now, that's actually on the, on the um, for the manual, that'll be on top size or just over. In actual fact, in reality, the bearings that you buy nowadays are usually so large uh, that they would actually measure 1.61752, 1.61753, so that basically means um, that if you ground it to the normal size, you'd actually have quite a quite a slack oil clearance. So I always like on road engines to uh, to you know fill that uh, fill that bearing up, yeah, fill that oil clearance up to the point where you maintain a good oil film and it actually increases the bearing, um, you know, the, the the load that bearing can take. It's quite common for people with classic minis to grind the cranks loose, um, you know, thinking that that's, that's, that's the right way to go. In actual fact, uh, you do need some looseness if you're racing. The problem is, is once you go loose, you end up reducing the life of that bearing. So on a road engine where it's not doing the RPM, actually, you know, going on top size uh, is, actual, uh, is an, an actual benefit. So my suggestion would be, if you're actually building an engine, put your shells in the engine measure the inside diameter and then have these ground to suit and then you will get the maximum um, uh, strength out of your bearings by optimizing the oil clearance and that might mean because of the production tolerances that you actually have a different size journal for each bearing 
Now that might sound extreme, but effectively what you'll achieve is the same oil clearance for each one. Okay, so I like, you know, I like to run uh, oil clearances somewhere in the region of um, around two thousandths of an inch on the big ends, uh, sometimes one and a half uh, to two thousandths um, for a road engine only and a little bit more for racing. Uh, the main bearings I always tend to run on a road engine tight as well and on a race engine I loosen those off a little bit more than I do the big ends. Anyway, so as we check the mains, you saw me do it there. Uh, you'll see that that one's 10th hour on the size, but also that one comes in at uh, 1.741, okay, which is, again, absolutely spot on for this application and a very, very uh, good, good grind. Um, I've actually checked all the journals on this crankshaft and they're all within a tenth of a tenth of a thousandth of an inch uh, on both ovality and parallelism. Now, in the UK, crank grinders or good ones, companies that can do, to grind to very tight tolerances, uh, certainly from my experience, are quite uh, few and far between. So uh, this one was actually done by OCS in Winchester and they do a fantastic job of grinding, regrinding crankshafts. And they also uh, will, will respond to your sizes. Um, obviously you have to pay a little bit more if you want uh, custom sizes, because it may take them longer to do that, because obviously pricing is worked out based on um, the time it takes to do the job. So. Uh, as ever, if you want the best quality, um, the price goes up. But my advice to you is start checking your journals and your the work done by others. Because at the end of the day, you're responsible for what goes into your engine. And if you don't check it, you could end up with problems. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little video on uh, checking your crankshaft. Um, one other uh, per, uh, company I could recommend is Dartford Reboring Kent. Um, they do a nice job on regrinding crankshafts. Again, uh, you can specify sizes um, and they will obviously charge accordingly. Uh, anyway, um, as I said, hope you like the video. Uh, if you want to see more, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.